In this video, we're going to be talking about making credit card payments in QuickBooks Online, QBO for short. And handling this incorrectly is one of the most common errors I see in QuickBooks Online. It's actually super simple to do correctly if you know how to do it. So hopefully watching this video, you won't make this mistake. So the situation we have is actually very simple. It's very common. Um, we use $1,045 from the checking account um, and we transferred it to the American Express credit card to make the payment. So what most people are going to do is they hit add and what this transaction is going to do is or what that action is going to do is it's going to add this as an expense in QuickBooks Online. And that's actually incorrect. And the way it's um, the way I would describe this is we've already recorded those transactions in QuickBooks Online. So in other words, this $1,045 is composed of various transactions that we've already added as they've come through the bank feed in QuickBooks Online. So those expenses are already recorded in um, QBO, QuickBooks Online. So if we hit add for the payment, it's essentially duplicating those expenses. So the correct way to do it is to hit transfer. Make sure it's a transfer. And the account you want to select here is, um, you know, it's sort of self-explanatory, but you just select the account that you're transferring the money to. So in this instance, we're transferring it to the American Express account. So we've selected American Express here and we're going to hit transfer and then when we go to the American Express account QuickBooks Online um, knows that it's a transfer now what they're doing is simply matching it to the same amount that was in the checking account so all we need to do is hit match so in summary when you make the credit card payment and it comes to your bank feed make sure for action make sure you don't click add what you need to do is hit transfer. I hope this is going to help you avoid some errors. Thank you.